We're at a point where Nintendo has done so little with Mario games the past five years that you're watching people touch grass in every Mario game or avoid water. So today, I guess I'm just gonna touch sand. Woo! Super Mario Bros. Oh yeah, starting off strong. I, uh, I actually can't find any sand in this game. Yeah, Mario Maker 2 had to make a desert texture because they don't exist in this game. Y'all remember that? Ha, that was a time. <laughs> but I found a way. Oh, don't you worry. Got him. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels is much of the same thing, actually. There isn't a single desert level or pile of sand anywhere. Well, I don't have a card of the Lost Levels, so you win this one, Mario. Super Mario Bros. 2 has sand underneath this grass, and you might think that, oh, I, I, clearly I can't touch this. Well, that's where you'd be wrong. By running to the end and jumping off the side to my death, I can barely scrape the side and touch some sand. Worth it. Believe it or not, Super Mario Land, it's still in black and white. But it's also very clear that these dots under the grass equal sand, so we just have to jump down this pit to skim some sand, and that's it. What do even is Mario touching here? It's like a pinkish color block thing. I don't know, but it's definitely not sand. In fact, we have to go to 1-3 to get the warp whistle, warp to world 2, and then hop into 2-1 to touch some sand. If you've watched all these videos, I think it's been drilled into your head at this point where this warp whistle is, and now you can use this knowledge in your day-to-day -day life. Make sure to tell your grandma about this warp whistle and let me know how that went in the comments. I would love to know. I'm not gonna read it. Pretty sure this path is sand. Super Mario Land 2 DX. Once again, I'm a firm believer that this overworld path is a bunch of sand. I mean, hey, I guess it could be like a road or something, but if that's the case, then why isn't it colored gray or black? What, because it sticks out more? How about get realistic, people? Come on, it's sand. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's goddamn motherfucking sand. Mario 64 is interesting because you might think that we just touch sand right from the get-go, but no, there's an actual desert level that's very clearly sand which we have to get to. So the fastest way to do this is to perform the LBLJ that I didn't do, get the first Bowser key, dive into the wall like a psychotic freak, and boom! Now we're touching some really nice sand. Aw yeah. So, take a wild guess if we can touch sand in Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, just watch your vacation fall into shambles, and as soon as you get off that plane, go chill in the sand and avoid all of your problems, just like a real hero. New Super Mario Bros. is different from the other games because there's no sand underneath the grass. In fact, the grass is growing on these, uh, artificially made-looking blocks? How in the f*** is that even possible? You can't tell me this is sand because real sand can be found in World 2. We can't even take a warp cannon to the sand because none of them go to this world. So when we finally get to 2-1, we can finally relax in some nice sand. You might think that we have to go to a sand galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy. Well, think again. We can actually touch sand in the first world. Good A galaxy. Yep, just go to this planet and look at that. A nice pile of chunky sand. New Super Mario Bros. Wii confuses me just as much as the DS game. These so-called blocks now kind of look like dirt, but they also look like sand, I guess? I mean, I don't think this could be sand, that just doesn't seem possible. The Warp Cannon once again takes us to World 5, which isn't gonna be helpful, so we just need to play through all of World 1 to get to 2-1. Yep, it's just like the DS game. Oh wow, the theme order is exactly the same. I wonder if they'll do that again. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Go to World 2, and bam, 2-1. Oh dang, Nintendo used the same themes again. New Super Mario Bros. U, World 2, 2-1. Two, Jesus Christ, Nintendo, for the love of God, don't do this again. New Super Luigi U, World 2, 2-1. Two, Nintendo, please change things up. Oh my God. Mario Galaxy 2 has sand, but it also has a lot of dirt. And when I say a lot of dirt, I mean like a lot of dirt. Like seriously, almost every galaxy has a planet full of dirt. Hasn't anyone heard of a vacation? Where the hell is the goddamn sand? Bunch of idiots. It took until Cosmic Cove Galaxy to finally find some sand. Well, thank God for that. We finally made it to Super Mario 3D Land, and 1-1 doesn't have sand. I think it's only fair to call this stuff, uh, I don't know, like very bright dirt, 
right? At least that's what I'm classifying it as, but you can have your own opinion. Yes siree, you are allowed to have your own opinion, whether it's horribly wrong or right. Just, just wanted to throw that out there. But anyway, we have to go all the way to 3-1 to reach a desert level and touch some sand. But get ready to bow down to the almighty Super Mario 3D World. They went out of their way to add some sand in the very first level. Yes, finally! Oh, Nintendo did something different! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Super Mario Odyssey does not have any sand in Cap Kingdom or the Cascade Kingdom, so we gotta go all the way to the Sand Kingdom to finally relax in some nice, cool sand. Or hot sand, depending on if it's, you know, day or nighttime. And moving on to Bowser's Fury, there's sand like nine inches in front of us, which is convenient. But this is probably like the worst sand we've touched because it's like wet and just, you know, cold and pouring outside. It looks kind of miserable. And there you have it. We've played every mainline Mario game and touched sand in almost all of them. Mmm, the real problems have been solved today. But as usual, I want to keep on going. So let's try touching sand in every Mario Kart game. Starting off with Super Mario Kart, I've come to the realization that we can choose whatever track we want to, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Koopa Beach 1 because that one has a good amount of sand. Mario Kart 64? Ha! <laughs> that one's got Koopa Troopa Beach. Okay, but you know, for the next game, I'm gonna be picking a track that isn't beach themed for some extra spice in my life, you know what I'm saying? Moving on to Mario Kart Super Circuit, hmm, let's see. Well, it does have SNES Koopa Beach 1, but I don't wanna count that, it's just kinda lame. Uh, yeah, beyond that, we've got uh, Cheap Cheap Island. Yeah, that's technically not called a beach level, and it does have sand, so I'll take that as a dub. Moving on to Mario Kart Double Dash. Luigi's Circuit has some sand next to this chain chomp. Wow, would you look at that. We're going wild with this one instead of picking like Peach Beach like some plebeian would. Ha! Luigi's Circuit's where my sand is, so take that. Whoever's being taken, which is nobody. On to Mario Kart DS, I've decided that it's a rule to not pick retro tracks to make things tougher on myself. And guess what? Mario Circuit has some sand right near the beginning, and I could not possibly be happier about this. Mario Kart Wii also has some sand on Luigi's Circuit. Instead of taking the ramp, we're just gonna relax and have fun playing in the sand. Holy hell, in Mario Kart 7, Toad Circuit even has some sand. I'm gonna be real with you for a second, I'm officially tired of the first track in every Mario Kart game having sand. I wanna go somewhere more exotic. So in Mario Kart 8, I did just that and found some sand in Dolphin Shoals. This isn't labeled as a beach, it isn't a track in a game, it's nothing short of paradise. Moving on to Mario Kart 9, we uh, oh, wait, wait a second. Oh yeah, that's right, there is no Mario Kart 9 yet. Huh, I feel like it's been a while since the last one. What the f***? This game is gonna be nine years old this year? Well, that's just great. I feel like an old sack of poop. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. But yeah, there you have it. I have now touched enough sand to last me a lifetime. I've collected sand from all these places. I really, really liked it. It was a lot of fun touching all this sand. And yeah, thanks for watching. Sand! Sand! Hey guys, Sand Undertale. Uh...